Hold day on. two of uh, is this thing called escape? Yeah. Day two of escape. It's earlier than last time, which is nice. We got Mr. Keegan. Hey. Ken. Okay. Softball Valley, which is beautiful. It's hot as hell. This is my motherland. Really? I feel like you don't work here anymore. I know. Yeah. Oh. It's an emotional day for Miss Bellito. It's nice to feel it actually feels good. Looks like we got a speed racer. I just like to do it as fast as possible. <laughs> oh, well, hey, when you're actually coming. Oh, well, we are. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi, Kenzie. Jeez. Oh yeah. Gotta make it realistic. For the movie. Okay, I just wanna hit the camera here. See that? Adam says he's ready. He's ready. Good luck. See if we get a wall. Um, so you can get a thing behind your desk. And I just put very important things on mine. Yep. So our price list, which is important. Uh, the 10 year, a picture of me. So if you follow the vlogs, when I went to Mexico, the team had just, everybody had a picture of me and everybody, like it was sitting here and yeah. everybody just, Pretended I was here, okay. and then I got a, cert a uh, certified beauty thing, <laughs> which uh, we need to move Mr. Keegan over here. Um, it uh, certified beauty. This cert certifies that Matt Gillen is a registered beauty. I had to sign it, obviously, and Keegan had to sign it. Yeah. And then we have this this handsome devil right here. Um, he signed me a picture. That's uh, Mr. Keegan, and. Uh, all star freeze frame, boom. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. So as soon as we uh, you know new staff come in and, and we expand our team, there is one initiation that everybody needs to have. And it's not because I'm trying to make people watch our documentary, it's because I need people to understand where they work and where it came from. So ten years ago there was a t-shirt painted and then they can watch this and uh, um, understand where they're working. If you have a dream, go for it. And just because somebody tells you... And our theme song is... Your dream is not worth pursuing? Yeah. This song. This is the office theme song. So if you ever hear it and someone says, Where'd you hear this song yeah, from? It's the doc. <laughs> and we're on Shaw right now, too. On this is on Shaw right now. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we uh, have closed our cookie. We have finished our pizza. We have op unopened the oven for the bread. Do you, cook you don't cook bread in an oven, do you? No, you don't. It's a baked, it's a bread thing. Can you cook bread in an oven? Oh, shit, okay. Um, I don't cook a lot of things. Um, here's mine. We finally emptied out the, the Chef Boyardee container into the bowl and miked it. So this is Mr. Cody. Uno. So this makes us at number 10. <laughs> Mr. Cody. <laughs> he is going to be taking care of SEO. He is going to be taking care of um, working with you guys, you and Adam, on sounds and that you do that stuff too right yeah so we can come up with original sounds and bebops and boobops and stuff for the videos that we're doing and uh yeah mr cody
I think that instead of giving somebody a hundred dollar Firestone gift card, that you should give them something that would actually use their house. I'm a home buyer and I had to go buy some shit that I forgot. For yeah, videos. see, I've been doing, I'm putting a basket together with like toilet paper, cleaner, yeah. Kleenex, yeah. Um, some wine, little cup glasses, plastic glasses, and just like a basket. Cool. Even little like, things yeah. like the, the little pods for the dishwasher. Like, yes. Because like the day you move in, you don't have any. No, totally. Right. Yeah. yeah, just like stuff you can even get. The because I'm happy. Clap alone if you feel. Who you are and what you do and from your side of that and then uh, I'll say how we met and kind of that kind of stuff but I do want everybody to know who you are and what you do and and uh, you know your company and everything like that. Awesome. My name is Sarah. Um, I own a small individualized training facility called Live Better Health and Fitness. Um, we do a bunch of different health and fitness related things. We do group classes, um, I say group classes, but it's more like small group training. Uh, they're really small. Um, yeah, so what are you, I mean, we, in these things, we always kind of talk about the marketing and stuff like that of said person in it. What are you doing for marketing that differentiates you from Skippy's Gym and Yippie's Gym and so on and so forth? And the atmosphere there, because from what I see on Snap and when yeah. I've been there the handful of times, it's homey. It's not like... Yeah. It's not the Y. Yeah. I go to the Y. It doesn't feel homey at all. Yeah. You know, there's bricks falling down from the ground. Oh, yeah. From the ceiling. <laughs> Sorry, Y, but it's ghetto. I have never been in there. So oh, it's, it's a good time. Every gym has something different to offer, right? Um, in regards to what makes us different, um, not from a marketing aspect, just from like atmosphere, um, the reason that I created the gym was that I wanted a place where people could come, they could feel safe. They could feel comfortable, but they could also be really motivated to work towards the best version of themselves. Right. So this looks cool. I don't know. What should I do with my? Feet? I can't lay them flat. Your feet are really in it. Huh? Your feet aren't in it. We're gonna get a rainstorm tonight. You think? I think so. What should I do? You gotta direct me. I'm trying to just get the candid shots. Do you know the show Candid Camera? No? It's about the two. Candid Camera? Caught on Candid Camera! Ding! Okay. This one's kind of cool. Can I see it? Bubble gum? I need to take more, but... This one, this one, I cannot see. I don't like that. Uh, let's go back. 